Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to my YouTube channel, wherever you are hearing me from. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good night. You're welcome. My name is Real Talk with Santia Duni, and this is my YouTube channel. And I welcome you to take a seat and enjoy my roller coaster, my videos that I roll out regularly for enlightenment and uh, for entertainment too. Yeah, I'm about to give you updates on Pastor Elin, Mama and Papa Urishe Jafo. One or two days ago, an update came out that um, she came out to debunk the divorce rumor, separation rumor that she's not separated. And um, let me just read a part of the um, post to you before I go on. She said, fam, my attention has been drawn to the fake and malicious news making rounds on blogs, on social media platforms and the newspapers against my character and that of my family. It's totally unbelievable, reprehensible and unthinkable. And it is important that I make the facts clear. I'm a wife, a mother and a woman of God and uphold the tenets of my Christian faith and marriage. My family and home is the most important part of my life. I therefore appeal to everyone to put our interest and that of our lovely kids above the need to profit from this baseless endeavor. Baseless endeavor. Baseless. It doesn't have format. Now lie. That is what it means. Say this thing will be true. This thing will not they read up and down. She's saying a lie. Now rumor. Okay. So she went further, and I'm going to read the last part now. She said, don't forget that life is a seed. To carry a baseless news not supposed, supported is only malicious but punishable under the law of the land. So she said, in retrospect to the fake news, I have briefed my lawyers and non-necessary legal actions have been taken. In other words, the person that brought that news out before some of us carried it, and help them to spread it. They said the play person will be the founder, the source of that information will face the law. In other words, the battle is not of the Lord. Uh, it's no more of the Lord. Pastors fight their battle. When they tell you you fight your battle on your knees, they fight their own battle with. Correct? You understand? And don't mind me. I like uh, I like to do some comedy in my show. People who follow me on Facebook know me. So they will, like, instead of kneeling down to pray and say, God, fight my battle. No, they go to lawyer, to learned friends to fight their case. And they are ready to, if possible. So that's by the way. Um, This news was first debunked by a brother, uh, Nkechi's ex-lover, Falegon, Honorable Falegon. He was on... That you freeze the platform to debunk the news that it's a lie. That she even insulted the listeners on that platform, calling them poor people. That the woman has a private jet. But my question is, how did she come about private jets? Is it by her sweat or by the money the husband, you know, the five five thousand that the husband will tell people to bring for a man too? But anyway, they have a private jet, sha. So the brother. The brother said it was all a lie and she came out to write her own story that, look, no, don't talk about this thing any further. So I'm helping to spread the latest updates. But my own question is, um, I saw some lapses in what she said and I'm going to talk about the lapses. Number one, the husband just had his 50th anniversary on as a minister. On that day, a picture was missing there. On the banners, on the billboards, on everything, on the flyers, a picture was missing. And she was missing. No matter, she's in, we were told she's in London. London to Nigeria is just six hours. Even if you are doing a PhD, you can take excuse and say, I need to quickly go for a program. Because I'm sure the program was on weekend. Even if you do not show through Monday to Friday, Saturday to Sunday, you should be there by the side of your husband. Right? If you want to doubt this, these are past videos I'm putting by the side where both of them are always present. 
together for their programs. All their past flyers has always been together. And this confirms that what they say that for out of every rumor, there is an element of truth. You, they gave us reason to believe something is not right. And I heard about this case year, months ago. Around, and I think if you scroll through my videos, you will see the first video I did for them. So they can hide all they like. Like the case of Anita and Chris Oyakilome, that was how they were denying there was nothing wrong when the news came out. And later we got to know it was all the, I mean, there was truth in it. Not only that, Chris Oyakilome did not even want to say anything about it. It was the wife that came out. So in this case, honestly, I would have preferred if it is the pastor, if it is Ayo Jafo that comes out to debunk the rumor, not the woman. But the woman has come out to say, you people should shut up, oh. This thing is not this. It's not what you are making it to be. And if you talk about this thing again, I will not go on my knees because prayers are wishes. I will go the right way they do things in life. Okay? Not the way they do things in, um, I call them Ozu people, where they will say, prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. And the prayer is the key. They have their own way of sorting things out. She says she will go by the way of the law which is okay. So if you look by the pictures, the videos and pictures that are sliding on the side, you can see their past programs. You can see the way, anytime they are doing programs, both of them will look at themselves in the face, like uh, they are inside their bedroom. <laughs> Not only that, on that day that they were having the program, Ayo, um, Elin, go through, I went through all her page. She did not celebrate the program. She did not post anything about the program. Nothing reflects the program on her own private page. She has her own program she was doing. In fact, she has a program she's so bent on talking about now. Let me look at it before I fall. I, I think something about the chick, side chick. Side chick, is it a job? That is what she has been talking about. Which shows to me that is a red flag that something is going on. She said, side chick, is it a job? And I was like, what sort of administration is this one? What has this got to do? What will this one, what will this one do? You know? So, and the thing is on and on and on on her page. Side chick, is it a job? Side, side chick, is it a job? Side chick, is it a job? I was like, what's going on? So on their page, she did not celebrate the program, the 50th anniversary. Nothing about it. Anyway, she said nothing happened. As she talked, say nothing happened. We self say nothing happened. But all I know is that whatever is hidden can never be hidden forever, shall come to light. It's a matter of time. Maybe by next year, she will come out and tell us nothing is happening. And she will stay there while her husband is doing things alone. On, on their church something website, they said they have removed. The way Chris Oyakilome removed his wife's picture in those days, that time when they had their problem, that was how he removed the wife's picture on their program. And that was how people, that, well, that was what made people to start suspecting. The same thing Orisha Jaffo did. But the wife said, it doesn't really matter. He can remove her picture, but they are still together. I wonder if I'm married, my husband will carry my picture and carry my picture come out for where it's supposed to be. My space, he go remove her. He go say, stand alone. Okay, you can see all these pictures strolling through. I mean, this, this picture by the side, you can see there. And my my husband will say, my picture should be taken off. Why is own, only his own. In other words, you know what it means. But they said, it's not our business. But we go, they look. When we see, we go talk. They cannot shut us up. And uh, what they call freedom of speech. We have not called them names. They say they're divorced. They say they're no divorce. Uh, well, we, uh, waiting we see. That is what we are talking about. On our page, nothing. On his page, nothing. So something is definitely growing on. But time will tell. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed. 
kindly um leave your comments kindly press a like that like matters to me please i'm begging you don't forget so it seems after watching we forget please i'm begging you don't forget that like it means a lot i beg you thank you for watching once again continue to put on your notifications so when i drop a video you will see